my grandfather immigrated to this country from Jamaica as a teenager, and he was by trade a cigar maker. So when he came to America, he landed in Kentucky, where a lot of the tobacco fields were. And he wasn't there for very long when uh, he went into the small town near where he was working, and uh, he heard a psst from the alleyway. And he walked in, and there was a guy in there playing with some cards. And the guy said to him, uh, hey, buddy, how'd you like to make yourself some quick money? Well, now, my grandfather was not averse to that. He really didn't have much when he came to this country. And he was a little cautious, though, because they had card cheats even in Jamaica. And so uh, when he shuffled the cards, he watched very intently as the man said, all you have to do is follow the play of one card. If you can follow the money card, you can win yourself a lot of money. And so he placed it on the cards, and he shuffled them slowly and deliberately. And my grandfather watched very, very carefully, and the man put out one, two, three, four cards on the table. And he said to my grandfather, if you guess which card is the money card, you win the money. Now, my grandfather was a little suspicious. He thought perhaps that the money card wasn't even on the table. But when the gambler showed him the rest of the cards in his hand, he realized he had no reason to be suspicious whatsoever. Now, uh, Tamara, which of those cards would you have bet on? Um. <laughs> You're not going to win a freezer or anything, Tamara. I mean. Okay, well, well, that's exactly the card my grandfather bet on. Right, excellent. Yeah, and that's when the gambler made his move. And he said, oh, I'm sorry, son. You've lost your money. I've got the money card right here. At that point, my grandfather realized that he had been cheated. And so he performed a little Jamaican magic that he knew. And as the gambler reached for the money, he said, wait, that's the card I bet on. And that's the money card. Well, the gambler, the gambler froze in his tracks, and when he turned over the card that just a moment ago was the money card, he realized he'd been beaten by someone or something he didn't really understand. Well, my grandfather got to keep the money, and he got to keep the cards, and that's how I got them, because they were of no earthly use to the gambler. That's because you simply can't play a money game with that many money cards. <laughs>